We are gathered here today to celebrate the already existing marriage of Neville and Jessica. What they did for their actual first wedding, you can't really buy unless you have a lot of money. On empty streets in Boston because of the pandemic, you found a justice of the peace and you did it. <laughs> Jessica and Neville have gotten here through thick and thin, through two years of marriage and a pandemic, through repeated delays in their wedding celebration, not because love is a fairy tale, but through the true essence of a loving relationship. They put in the work, and they know that great relationships are not found, but made. The first time I met him, I was at my friend's fundraiser. I don't know how it happened, but Jess and I kind of just like sectioned off. We were talking for forever. Maybe halfway through, I'm like, Mm, she's pretty cool. Uh, I kind of like this girl. And then he left without getting my number, and so I was like, oh, I'm never going to see him again. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Let's take a look. So it was like six weeks later, my brother and I were at City Bar downtown. So my friend asked me out for drinks a few months later, and when I met her for drinks, Neville was there with his brother. That night, I said, hey, like, we should do something. <laughs> Asked me to go on a first date, a proper first date. I got off of work at Bar News at 5, and then we'd go see the midnight showing of this movie. So it was, like, the longest first date. But it was really fun. Like, we did so many things. Give us a twirl, give us a twirl. <laughs> wow, yeah. That's good like a girl. I never get tired of being around my sister. She is basically the human equivalent of the Harry Potter books. <laughs> she's super creative, she is great with kids, and she's roughly the size of the box set. <laughs> and Jessica loves to be around people who are just as amused about the world as she is. And that's why she has found the perfect partner in Neville. And he is downright giddy about Jessica. So much so that before even getting engaged, he texted not only my mom and dad, but me, my cousin, and God knows who else in this room. The engagement story is fun. We were in Providence for the weekend, and we were about to go out to this pizza place. So I keep the ring in the box with the ring open and put it in the bedside table. Neville's like, we grab my hairbrush for me from the drawer open the drawer and it was just like an empty drawer except for an open ring box. So she's looking at the ring, looking at me, I'm looking at her like, uh-huh, she's looking at the ring, so I'm kind of going, I'm like, it's happening. I was in disbelief, it was truly a surprise. In elementary school, she did a school project on puffins. Believe it or not, Jessica has a lot in common with puffins. <laughs> puffins are very dedicated to their mate and devoted, and they choose one mate for life. And this she found in her Neville. Neville is an all-in kind of guy all the time. It's something to respect because you know when Neville is there, he's there for you. Ever since he met Jess, he's been infatuated with her. He loves her, he pushes her, and she's able to center and support him as well. We're completely different in so many ways, but like we really do have this like mutual respect for each other. It feels like I have someone who's always here for me. And you know, we both love each other. I think we both make each other better. It's a fun responsibility to like build a life with someone. 
Like there's a sense of pride when I like walk down the street. I'm like, yeah, I'm married. Like I chose someone and they chose me. Neville and Jessica, turn and face everybody for just a minute. Take this in. It's been 20 months since we were supposed to be here. We're here in this moment to celebrate you. Neville, these are the things that Jessica loves about you. She loves how you listen to her intently whenever it, she feels like she has something important to say, even though sometimes it ends up not being important at all. And since the pandemic, she's learned to appreciate that you always think things through, but sometimes come to her side and make a spontaneous decision, like buying your home after only seeing it for five minutes. And she loves how, when she doesn't feel like talking anymore, you open up your arms for her to nestle into. Jessica, here are the things that Neville loves about you. He loves that from creating a replica of Baseball Tavern where you first met in their kitchen to countless truly surprising surprise birthday parties, your thoughtfulness has no limits. Neville loves your ability to make fun and find humor in life's odd, random moments. Neville loves that you challenge him, admittedly kicking and screaming sometimes, the past several years have not been light on challenges, but through patience, perseverance, and humor, amongst many things, the two of you have been able to get through challenges head on together. I'm going to ask you to kiss each other, to punctuate the ceremony, and get the party started. <laughs> Biscuits in the kitchen, I'm a sous chef on a mission Baby wiggle it, it's vicious, we about to break the dishes Got the pepper with the sodium, we cooking with petroleum Come step up to the podium and cut up this linoleum Just move it, sitting down is stupid, now let me see you It up like orange drank. Shake your buffalo chicken wang. Get your groshes, make it rain. Not, not, let me hear you sing. Uh. Just move it. Move it. Sitting down is stupid. Now let me see you move it. Congratulations and mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov. You finally did it. You're twice married. Neville and Jessica, you have a gravitational pull to each other, forged through love and caring and dedication. And together, I know you'll be unstoppable.